What is up everybody? This is your boy Pac-Man here and today this uh, video is going to be in regards to the Oxhorn response. We're going to go ahead and break down pretty much what he said in his response video along with his tagged comments that he added um, in addendum to the video. But we're going to break those down. We're going to take a look at the actual uh, facts of the matter and just see exactly what uh, where we stand um when it comes to especially what he says about what's going on and what everyone else is saying i think it's important to take into account what everybody has to say about these issues uh, especially in controversial issues and i do take into account also that someone defending their name has every right to defend their name so it is important to look at everything and just see if there is any validity to it so the Oxhorn response on his side of it, he pretty much breaks it down issue by issue in his response video. First, he, you know, addresses actually saying that lies are being published about him. Okay, that's his point of view. He believes that he's um, not being treated fairly and people who are creating videos in regards to him and this whole controversy are... Yeah, you know, publishing lies or just being, you know, generally mean. Um, he does address the homophobic blog posts and, um, and uh, what's it, uh, his Scotch and Smoke Ring show, uh, previous comments made on that. And he does explain that, you know, at the time of when those videos were recorded, uh, public view on it was different and also his view was uh, was different on it and his views have changed over time in regards to that um, I can I can definitely respect that okay everybody's everybody's views change over time and especially when looking at anything you do have to look at it in the lens of the time because culture changes year to year decade to decade and somebody could make something five years ago and I mean how look at Kevin Hart I mean the guy can't even really do comedy the same anymore just because of um, some you know jokes that used homophobic slurs which were commonplace you know so just t take those types of things with a grain of salt I think a lot of people are overreacting on that portion of it but really they're only nitpicking they're starting to nitpick these types of things because the main issue has still not been addressed but I'll go ahead and get into that in a little bit next he pretty much states that he doesn't like draw drama and he tries to separate controversial subjects to dedicated videos or blog posts which also ties into what we just talked about and you know honestly I've already put put in my two cents on this in a previous video but in my personal point of view if you have a brand like that it's not really good to start commentating on other stuff that could start getting conflated um, it's not really good for a business model and honestly if you're especially trying to market something in a very particular way it's good to stick with that and well stay at a controversy next um, he addresses that video that he made of making fun of that that um, chubby girl in the um, in the red uh, outfit outside of the movies and I think honestly again if we all take a step back who hasn't done something similar to this it doesn't exactly have to be with a girl it doesn't have to be with someone who's overweight it doesn't have to be with somebody who's of any race whatever all that really matters is is that everyone has done that they've been with their friends they've looked at somebody it's just like oh man look at how funny that person looks and you know it's just a part of human nature it's what we all do I um, take his apology to heart on that one just because honestly who hasn't done that before but again people nitpick about that particular thing just because of the bigger picture behind the controversy and by him downplaying that it leaves him open to everyone starting to take grains of sand and pile them up into a nice little mound now next thing he addresses is the Keemstar issue he denies the issue completely um, I've seen otherwise on other videos where guys have actually literally broken down exactly what happened and it's pretty apparent what ha did happen in that case with Keemstar um, 
what Oxhorn says is that those message boards and everything were altered, and that's you know a fake message that has been verified that he says. But I've seen videos to the contrary of that, where the entire message history is gone off of it, so it looks more like someone deleted their message history versus there not being it in existence. And also, the original video, I mean, let's let's be honest here, the guy was stupid enough to actually go onto somebody else's page instead of the DM page that he was supposed to go to, so... You know, if he had been more competent, then this issue wouldn't even be here. So you can thank Keemstar for that, for leaving a suspicious situation where people can easily take that into a nefarious, you know, type of deal. So now from there, he goes ahead and he moves on and he acknowledges the whole hiding comments controversy. He explains it as he's hiding people who are trolling him or being mean or being toxic this i mean honestly if you take a look at um all of the videos that that um specifically handled this side of it i mean that's just grossly inaccurate he did not just hide people who are trolling him he is hiding people who he doesn't really want their opinions up and that includes you know a few of the guys that i mentioned in my last video um, let's see, he denies being called a shill, you know, he says, like I said in my last video, you know, his business model, he covers Fallout, the Fallout franchise, and he's got to cover Fallout 76. Well, again, that does not excuse his very small amount of criticism for Fallout 76 to the mountain of problems that the game had. I mean, every single YouTuber was I mean the mountain of evidence that it was a crap game was so high that almost every single YouTuber all admitted the exact same thing that the game is garbage it was bug filled like crazy it's a multiplayer reskin of Fallout 4 and that's pretty much it which uses all the same assets along with some new ones and retcons you know all the lore and completely just messes up the Fallout series he doesn't really um, share that view. I think that he's got his head up his ass, but hey, you know what? To each his own. Now, he then went to the whole adult mod things, uh, mod thing that's going on right now, and personally, on this one, I, I believe I do have to clarify some things on here. Um, it is very obvious that he uses CBB. Um, now, I mean, honestly... I'm just going to go for my personal thing, but I mean, my my usual character is usually a skimpy dressed um, CB, a CBB uh, model chick with, you know, with a sexy body and the no underwear option on it. I mean, that's just me. Maybe it's just I'm a little bit pervy. Who knows? But for him, he's obviously using a very similar setup on his CBB. Now with him... All he would have to do is really just turn on the never nude, uh, you know, <laughs> option of that mod and boom, he wouldn't have anything to worry about. But he obviously didn't do that. It might be something where he's it conflicts with other mods that he's using. Honestly, if I were him, I would just not use mods when I'm making lore videos and stuff like that. Um, it definitely helps being a more accurate to the game because there's nothing added in there you don't have to worry about stuff that's not you know actually in the game and b you save yourself issues where people have grabbed screenshots of you know chicks with their bare titties hanging out because of the uh specific armor model you know does not support the cbb you know that I can't really blame him for using it just because I use it myself, but if he's going to be a popular, you know, big channel YouTuber, then he's got to keep in mind that, you know, unless he wants to be like MXR, you know, who's <laughs> shunned by Bethesda just because, you know, he's funny but a little bit pervy. <laughs> um, unless he wants to get shunned like that, he really needs to, um, you know, go into the either go into the mod options and, you know, just pick never nude or he should just start playing without you know mods that alter the game state that you know i think might help him out just a tad 
Uh, the last thing I'm going to address in this particular video is his denial of using uh, the th three strike thing to try to, you know, take people off offline. Um, he says, you know, these people are all still online, you know, and then he goes through a big giant, you know, canned statement that this is all fake news and, you know, it's part of an organized trolling campaign. If you guys actually watch the other guy's videos, you will know for a fact that this is not true because they've actually brought up the copyright strikes and especially in the situation where, you know, he tried to strike, do a three strike and was only able to succeed on two so that way everything was able to be documented and brought out. It's very obvious that he's not being genuine and honest in regards to the three striking thing and that is his biggest issue if he would just get out in front of this and just say look it was petty i did try to do it i'm sorry that's it it would save him so much trouble people wouldn't be nitpicking through everything of his just because you know he doesn't want to you know be the bigger man and just say yeah i did it i'm sorry you know he keeps on denying it. He puts out a big canned statement, you know, in regards to it, which is, you know, literally BS. You know, I'm sorry to Ox just because I really do actually think that he, you know, has quality content on his channel for the most part. I think that he seems like a pretty nice guy. And, you know, honestly, I hope him success in what he does. I hope success for anybody who does anything that, you know, Anything that they do when it comes to growing your channel, just as long as you base your um, opinions and your videos in honesty. And when people call you out on things, you really should just be honest and say the whole truth. Lying never really gets you anywhere. You always have to tell another bigger lie to cover up the smaller lie that you just did. Just fess up. You tried to three strike people and you failed in at least one event, but you've probably done it many other times. It's not cool. Please stop. That's it. So if you like what you heard today, you know, leave a comment, leave a thumbs up and, um, you know, go ahead and subscribe. It would definitely help me out just starting out on here. And if you do have any suggestions for videos, if you, you know, have any constructive criticism about the video in itself, you know, feel free. You know, let me know. I do read all the comments. And, um, yeah, if you do have a valid point, you know, I'd be more than glad to even make a follow-up video or something like that. Just let me know. But uh, thanks for listening, guys. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.